hello everyone welcome back uh, if you're watching my videos in this series we're working on AZ 104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Labs they are available on the github and I'll give you the link and we are working on implementing virtual networking in our Azure environment since each task are pretty long I have already created three videos previously in the first one we created the virtual network second one we deployed two virtual machines using a template in the third one we went ahead and created public IP addresses and, and we configure static private IP addresses for those virtual machines now in this lab we're gonna start uh, and finish configuring the network security groups now let's go to six and four and start working on it. So in this task, we're going to configure the network security group in order to allow restricted connectivity to Azure virtual machines. Okay, so let's go to this resource group led in our Azure resource. So let's copy this. Uh, let's go to our Azure. Here is my resource groups, and this is the resource group that we are interested in. In this resource group, as I said, I have two virtual machines that are deployed, the VM0 and VM1. Okay, and if you if you look at any of these machines and go to networking, you see that it should it's it should say the network interface does not contain network security groups, and that's not good. So your network is really not protected uh, properly. So you gotta gotta use the network security groups to to allow uh, connection from 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 say you want RDP to this to this network. You need to set up a network security group and allow some particular ports open up those ports so you can have a connection. So now let's go back to the lab real quick and uh, rest and. They're asking us to look at the VM0. So let's see if we have looked at VM0. Yeah, we are looking at VM0. On the VM0 blade, click connect and uh, drop down menu, click the RDP and connect with the RDP blade and download the RDP file. So what they're saying, uh, go back to this virtual machine. So let's go back over here one more time to the virtual machine. And they're saying click on the connect button and click on the RDP it's gonna give you a RDP file that you can download and you can then open with your you know whatever you have in a Windows it will probably automatically open a RDP session for you since I'm using an internet I don't need all that I just need the IP address and I'm gonna use a client called Remnia remote desktop client and I'm just I just need to provide the IP address which is 52 241 137 31 which I have already saved in some place so copy that one put it in here and I'm just gonna hit enter and it's gonna try to connect to this virtual machine since I have no NSG network security configured whatsoever this connection is going to fail so let's uh, go back to our lab and verify note the connection attempt fails okay why so they're saying this is expected because public IP address of the standard SKU by default requires that the network interface to which they are associated are protected by network security group. So if you have a public IP assigned, you gotta have a network security group. In order to allow remote desktop connection, you have to create a network security group explicitly allowing RDB traffic for internet and assign it to the network interfaces of both virtual machines. So let's verify this connection has failed so if i go back to remnia yeah it's, it didn't do anything right so let's uh, go to the lab so we're done up to this phase so here it's saying in the network as your portal search for the network security group and on the network security group click add so let's do this step so copy this so go to our azure portal and uh, search for the network security groups which is NSG click on that one I never use the classic I, I I selected that one by mistake so I'm not using any of the classic uh, resources I'm always always staying with the regular one 
uh, and then I'm going to create an create a click over here to create a new network security group and when you click you have to assign it subscription use whatever subscription you have and uh, this is the resource group that I want to create uh, AZ10404 RG1 so AZ10404 RG1 that's the resource group I want to create what is the instance name is the NSG0 so network security group 01 is the name and uh, the name of the Azure region where you deployed all other resources in the lab so this is important you if you want to deploy uh, NSG make sure that you are deploying in the same location so just to verify that let's go back to Azure resources and I just want to look at VM0 or VM1 and I just want to look at which region they're deployed so they're deployed in West US so I want to deploy this in West US is the West US there is the West US so that's where I want to deploy my machine okay so I'm gonna create review and create and uh, validation has passed so I'm gonna hit create okay uh, this deployment it should take about two minutes a bit it's gonna take even less than that so it's going to uh, do the deployment of my NSG at this time uh, in a location that's same as the virtual machine locations okay uh, on the deployment go to resources and open that network security blade and uh, in that network security blade now we're gonna assign some security rules okay let's see if that's done yeah it's done so now we can go to this network security that NSG and what you see it has already given us some inbound security group and some outbound security rules and you cannot delete any of these rules they are there by default you have no option to change this you can overwrite with some other options in here you can give a lower priority and write your rules in a way that these are not you know valid anymore but you cannot delete them so they are in there okay in the rules let's since we need our 3389 for RDP connection let's let's do that first so let's go to our inbound rule under setting and just click on inbound and I'm going to create a rule and the rule uh, source any so it's going to allow my computer or any other computer so it's already there source ports is going to allow any ports destination it's saying any okay saying any and for the destination port number it's saying you can actually restrict this even more you can have only that virtual machine IP address here and only your virtual IP address in here if, or IP address in here if you like uh, and 3389 is a TCP port Exxon is going to be allowed that is what is chosen uh, priority they're asking us to give me a priority of 300 and the name is allow RDP inbound so that's a really nice name uh, and then I can hit add so that's a security rule uh, inbound rule is now created so in the settings click network interfaces and then click associate now this network interface is now not associated with anything so let's go to our NSG and uh, setting associate the NSG in the settings network interfaces so settings where is my network interfaces okay there is nothing is associated so now I'm gonna click on associate and those are the two that are available so I'm associating the first one to this NSG so that one is now associated I'm gonna associate the other one as well and that's working on it and then uh, associate the NSG network security group with this NIC and that NIC so we have done both of them and it says it can take up to five minutes for the rules from the newly created network security group to be applied to the network interface card so if you try to do the RDP right at the moment it may not work just give it five minutes or so and it should work 
so now once that's done so let's go back it says both of them are now associated so if I go take a look at it it says everything is good and now it's asking us to go back to VM0 virtual machine blade so go back home uh, where is my VM0 is there so I'm on that virtual machine blade now uh, now verify that you can successfully connect to the target machine okay so let's get that one again go to my rim near go uh -oh. copied why is it not picking up my copy okay let's do it our regular way copy and let's uh, put it here right there so now let's try to connect if the rule has been applied properly we should be able to connect but as I said the Microsoft said to wait up to five minutes if it fails then we gotta give it a couple more minutes and in that case I'm just gonna pause the video if that is not yeah it says it's failed so I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes and I'm gonna come back so I'm gonna pause the video for a minute or so and be back okay it's been a couple of minutes now so I'm back so hopefully the rule is now being applied so I'm gonna try to connect it and there we go now I'm getting a different message it's saying hey you're trying to connect to this machine do you accept the certificate I'm gonna say yes so here I'm gonna use the student and the default password uh, let's see default password is this and I copy this one paste it and say okay so I should be able to connect to this machine now and as I said now we have a network security group defined we have configured an inbound port rule that allows a connection through 3389 TCP port and now we are able to connect to this machine which has a public IP address of 52.241.137.31 alright let's go back to the lab so we have done this step and we have verified that we can connect to this machine so let's do the same thing with the other machine as well so I'm gonna close come up uh, let's go to the other machine other VM and let's see if we can connect that one just to double check that it's uh, available to us student and uh, let's go get the password again and hit ok oh, authentication fail so let me try it one more time student I hope it's the same password oh, I have probably got an extra space at the end paste and ok and there we go so that is the end of this video in this video we have configured a network security group and remember the kind of the steps that we have done we have we went in there we searched for the network security group we created a net, new network security group we defined the inbound rules and opened up the port allowed the port 3389 once all of that steps is done the steps were done then we went and then we added and we associated these two in network interfaces with that NSG so that NSG is now applied to those two virtual machines now we are able to connect to them using the RDP so that's the end of this video in the next video we'll start working on configuring Azure DNS for internal name resolution so see you in the next one and thank you for watching this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up share and good luck with the exam thank you